What is up, everybody? Let's go ahead and get some light going. I don't know how charged this light is, so we'll see how long it lasts. But welcome to another Raw Feeding 101 live stream. For those of you guys that have been around for a long time, you know the spiel. Uh, mostly these live streams are to give you guys the opportunity to ask your raw feeding and fresh food related questions and sometimes we cover topics which is what we're going to do today now also for those of you guys that don't know because it's been a minute since my last live stream i think it's been a month since the last live stream for those of you that don't know who the heck i am my name is scott and i started this website right here rawfeeding101.com that's where the balanced meal plans are the boot camps the course consultations free guides recommended equip blah, 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 recommended equipment and supplements and so on so if you haven't checked that out yet do so but today also started all the raw feeding 101 stuff the facebook group youtube channel instagram da -da 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 -da. so today i am covering a topic and i don't know why this one is coming up again every now and then we'll see a comeback of something that's always talked about and things just go in cycles sometimes it's people talking about a lot of medical stuff with which they shouldn't be doing in the group sometimes it's uh <clears throat> dcm sometimes it's whether to feed grains or not on and on and on and on and on and there's always these things again that seem to keep coming back and this one has come back recently and it kind of drives me crazy because i don't know where people are still hearing this from but we're gonna cover it because it drives me crazy so let's make sure that our chat is going and everything like that before I get started and after I go on my little rant here <laughs> then we'll maybe just answer some Q&A questions <clears throat> okay there's our live streaming Q&A questions turn off the volume <clears throat> okay <clears throat> so here is what drives me crazy and you guys saw it in the title of the live stream and that is whether or not you can feed pork and grocery store meats without freezing them first and it's I, again i don't know where people keep hearing this but it's not true you do not have to feed or freeze grocery store meats and people always want to know where did you know where's the study which also drives me crazy i get it but it drives me crazy there's not a study out there that is going to say this because no one probably wanted to spend the money on a study like this because it's pretty obvious but this is coming from real world experience feeding raw food for the better part of 12 years now uh, just a couple of days ago i showed a picture in the facebook group of some pork that we were feeding that was from the grocery store from 11 years ago so here is what i'm telling you in the better part of 12 years of raw feeding <clears throat> never ever have i purposefully frozen something before I fed it if it came from the grocery store. The meats that are ending up at the grocery store are going through USDA processing facilities. They're already tested for things like this disease or that worm or whatever else before it gets to the grocery store shelf so that no one you know, comes walking up to a pork chop or something like that and there's a little worm wiggling around in it. So again, I don't know where people keep getting this from because most of the people that i know that do live streams and make raw feeding content have their own raw feeding businesses and so on most people already know this so i don't know where people are getting this information from maybe it's other commenters in facebook groups or commenters on whichever social media you choose but i'm here telling you right now as someone that has been doing it and feeding pork and other grocery store meats for the better part of 12 years that you do not have to freeze it before you feed it. Now, Wild Stuff is a completely different game. 
if you are someone that likes to go fishing or someone that likes to go hunting and so on, yes, those things should be frozen first for three to four weeks. Everyone says three weeks, but I like to do four weeks just to be safe because it's not like you get to the end of that last day, that 21st day, and all of a sudden something flips and everything disappears that was bad in it, right? So I like to give it that little bit extra time. But not grocery store meats, whether it's pork, whether it's chicken, whether it's beef, whatever it happens to be turkey, you do not have to freeze it first. And I see all kinds of different <clears throat> time frames on this. Some people say you need to freeze grocery store meats for one to two days, or you need to freeze it for two to four days or five to seven days. And I'm telling you right now, you don't have to do that. The food, again, that is there has already been tested for stuff. It's already gone through a USDA processing facility. It is safe to feed. You do not have to freeze grocery store meats like pork or anything else before you feed it. So <laughs> that is my little rant. It's kind of been bugging me all week because I, you see a comment happen, and then all of a sudden it seems to spur other comments in the Facebook group and other posts. So... It doesn't look like we have any big questions coming through right now, so I think I'm probably going to end this here. But one more time, one more time, just for the sake of saying it one more time, you do not have to freeze grocery store meats like pork, beef, chicken, turkey, and so on. <coughs> See? Even Montu agrees. Hantu do. Hantu do. Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? Are you going to go get a toy? Come here. You want to hop up and see the people? He can't decide if he wants to go get a toy or if he wants to <clears throat> come over here. Come here. Come here. Hop up. Good boy. What's on your face? What's on your face? You got a goob? Yes. Yes. Oh, and then there's Bukan. Then there's Bukan. <clears throat> here, come here. Hop up. Say hello to the people. Say hello. No someone's camera shy today all right you guys so i'm going to go ahead and close this one out again you do not need to freeze grocery store meats like pork beef chicken turkey and so on and if you guys have not yet make sure that you go and check out rawfeeding101.com that's where we've got again all the balanced meal plans the boot camps the free guides all the other stuff and make sure that you're checking out our halloween deals while you're there so have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Don't freeze your grocery 